Hello, I'm the CNC Repairman. Do you need to pull your head cover because you've got a problem on your head? If so, watch this video. I'll go over all the tips and tricks about how I pull the head cover and what to watch out for. I'm the CNC Repairman. Are your potential belt? I'm gonna show you how the Niagara Falls is full of power. I'm up inside my machine and I don't have any sheet metal, but I'm gonna act like I do. I've done this a lot on machines that do have sheet metal. I have a 532nd Allen driver, I really like this, and I have a pick tool that'll allow me to clean out the heads. So normally there's a piece of sheet metal right here on your machine. I have a VF2, you might have a larger machine, but a VF2, VF1, those are the hardest to pull the head cover on. We have to watch out for this switch and the sheet metal's here, so we're gonna have to jog the head all the way up, get it at just the right position, and wiggle it out without ripping the back of the switch off and unplugging the switch around the corner. The other thing, there's two bolts that are on the right angle metal in the back. Those are below the trucks. So I'll show you. I have to pull those first or the head cover won't tilt forward. Now if you don't pull the lower one out, when you try to pull the head cover, it will catch on this Z truck. So it's, it's way easier, I think, to pull the bracket off because it's easier to put it on without the bracket and then the bolt isn't in the way. So I got the one on the other side, I got the one on this side. If I was on a machine with sheet metal, it would be okay, I could still reach this. I'd either be standing on the sheet metal or it would be open. So this is pretty easy. Both brackets are off and here's the thing, you've gotta look at the bracket and remember that it sits this way and goes in the front channel. Cause if you take them off and then you put the head cover on, you're going, ah, how, how does it go? This has the older style Z-Way cover, so it sits in the front and it actually goes down in so that it's a cover and coolant and chips can't get behind the weight cover. So when you put it back on, way easier to slide the head cover in, then put the channel bracket, then bolt it down. Do you see how this one is worn? We actually have a replacement online you can get that can be used for left or right, but we're dealing with the head cover. So let's pull this off now. I'm gonna stand up kind of behind the machine, and I'm gonna look, I've got the screws off on that side, the screws are all off all the way on the side. Over here, we had to jog it down a little bit to get to the tool changer, so if you have a side mount tool changer, you're gonna to have to jog it down. Here's the other thing, there are one piece head covers, two piece head covers, three and four piece head covers. They're all pretty much the same, but they just come off in different pieces. This is by far the hardest. So, let's act like we have sheet metal here, I'm gonna pull the head cover up, and let's keep going, pulling up. Now I'm tilting it over, but I've gotta clear the sheet metal, and I have to clear that, and it's kinda tricky. You want the head jogged all the way up. I'm still going up. Now as soon as I clear that button in the imaginary sheet metal, I can push out, and then I'm totally clear. But here's the other caveat. I have this connected, ideally. So then you're gonna have to reach down here, and pull this apart or you can push it up like an inch or two and disconnect it. So don't forget to disconnect the tool release switch. Now, pulling the head cover forward and if there was a sheet metal here, I would just set it right on the sheet metal and now it's time to get into the head. If you've made a mistake, you need a new switch, check out CNC replacement parts. If your L brackets are all worn out from sliding or got bent, you can get a new L bracket. Anything else under your head, machine, maintenance wise, parts wise, please check out CNC replacement parts. If you have a friend who has a CNC machine, please send him my videos. I'm trying to reach more people. Tell anybody you know about these. And thank you for watching.